Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. We are at the flea market. Justin and I, he's here. It's his birthday. 33 Happy and thriving. 33 and thriving. <laughs> I texted him last night. I was like, wanna go to the flea market? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, let's go. So we're at the Long Beach Flea. It is currently like 8.30 in the morning. Got here a little later than I usually come. And Justin has a truck, which is like, unheard of in Los Angeles. Game changer. Game changer. Markets. We can like haul large furniture items. So let's get to shopping. There we go. I like this little box. If look at this hand brass sconce that's holding. That's so cool, I love that. We're approaching some cute items here. We found some cute things. This little lamp right here is so cute. Like a little entry lamp. I love that. Is it old? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> this is literally me. I'm getting these corbel shelves. How much were they? Um, 15 for two. Oh, that's a good deal. Oh, they're actually nice. Look at all of these handles. Got a hand. Like this? A hand hook. Yeah, it was hand like that, hook. It oh no, you guys. I've been here for a solid. 30 minutes and I have yet to find anything. You know, we, we gotta find some things in here. This is so cute. Okay guys, I think I found something kind of cute. I love this little clay pot here. I love the red in it. This chair is so cute. Wait, I think I need these, you guys. Look at these cast iron utensils to maybe hang on the pot rack in the back. All right, I got them. These are so cute, and I also love how there's copper because the kitchen has copper, the kitchen has brass, and we need a little bit of this cast iron vibe as well in there. Goes back to the pendant lights. These chairs are pretty. Oh my gosh, guys, I was thinking that this would be perfect because we have a truck. If Justin can just fit this right in the truck, that would be great. That is so pretty, honestly. Wow. I love this little side table. It's like so small, but kind of has this like folky vibe to it. I got something. I got this really cute little nightstand. There's only one, so I'm probably not gonna use it as an actual nightstand in the bedroom, but it's a great side table, and it's kind of small, but it also has storage, so kind of the best of both worlds. Oh, those are great. Yeah, these are really cool. $32 for these iron candle holders. I love all of these vintage books, and to be honest with you guys, I am not a reader. I don't read. <laughs> I don't know how to read. Um, <laughs> So I am going to definitely be filling some of my built-ins and like, you know, wall cutouts with books that look pretty. I love this mirror here. I love the wrought iron spears coming out from the side. So cool. I just found this little vase here, but it's on a stand. Just as a small little like shelf filler or accent somewhere. It's only 10 bucks. Justin, what did you get? Um, the third mask of the day. <laughs> that one you can actually wear almost. Like, it's like almost full size. Oh my gosh, it's actually a good size. <laughs> my new dog, I just bought him. Look at his little arms. Good morning, it is me. 
we are back from the flea market. It is Monday today, and I actually didn't find too many items. I have my little mini haul here, but I thought I would do a mini haul, and I also had to share with you guys what came in the mail, because I'm so excited to put this on my phone, my case to Fi case, which actually happens to be the sponsor of today's video. But guys, I have had many, many case to Fi cases over the years. I probably had like seven or eight, and you've probably seen them on my phone in the past. But I was so excited to see that they wanted to send over some cases, because I actually just got the new iPhone Pro Max 14. I don't even know what number they're on, honestly, and I needed a case for it. So this is incredible because Case Defy's cases are top notch. A lot of the designs are fully customizable and they have so many really cute already like done collaborations and just art cases as well that you could browse through on their site. So let me share with you guys some of the ones I got. If you're one that actually like drops your phone quite often, the bounce case is a great option for you because it actually has these expanded corners on them. I don't know if you could see those. They're like little bumpers that allow your phone to be dropped from 21 feet, which is crazy because you could literally drop this off like a second story of something and it's going to stay protected with one of the case to buy bounce cases. But if you're somebody that just needs like durability, you just want to make sure that your phone stays protected in general. That is kind of what I was going for. And that's why I got one of the clear cases. I love how cute this one is. You guys, they did an LF on it and it's actually in a army green color, like kind of an olive green with a black backing. I'll do a close up so you can see that, but I am most excited honestly to put this one on my phone. Why don't I do a little drop test for you guys? Check this out. Oh, check this out, guys. It's still perfectly fine. Look at that. So if you are interested, you can head over to casetofy.com slash loanfox to get 15% off your bounce case or your clear case. Get to customizing, guys, because they have some really, really cute options and ideas you could do on there. You could do initials. You could do your partner's name, your dog's name, photos. There's a lot that you can customize. I need to share with you guys what I got at the Antique Mart yesterday uh, in Long Beach. Now, I didn't actually find too many things, but I actually feel like I found some really, really cute items. So I'm gonna do a quick, super fast haul because guess what? We're going out and shopping again today. First thing are these incredible kitchen utensils. I love the mixture of brass. There's also copper that's actually used to hammer these together. So you can tell that these are definitely older and I just love the cast iron loop on the top. It just matches kind of the Spanish Revival look and there's a little spatula as well. Next thing I got was this smaller vase. And I actually loved this one because a lot of the vases and ceramics I've been getting lately for the home have been on the larger side. Like even this one back here is a lot larger. Almost everything I've gotten is larger. So this one was on the smaller side. I thought it was so cute. It's for $25 with this little bit of like terracotta tone in there. I thought it was so pretty. And you can tell this is definitely an older vessel. Cast iron and wrought iron has just been my absolute favorite. I have that candle holder back there, but I have two more really cute pillar candle holders. Now I typically opt for a lot of taper candle holders, but these pillar candle holders I thought were great. I adore anything with a tripod base. Something about a tripod base just it gets me going. I don't know what it is, but these are so cute. And I love how one of them is just a tiny bit taller than the other one. Just kind of gives a bit of variation. They're really heavy as well. These were $24. They were actually 30, but then 20% um, off at her booth. So they were 24, which I thought was great. These are really heavy. Now, this might be my favorite or one of two of my favorite finds. Look at this little piece of pottery, you guys. Have you ever seen something so unique and just interesting? I absolutely loved how small it was. I love that it came on a stand. I loved the movement of these little rings, the kind of distressing and just finish of the piece. I don't know how old this is. This is going to be perfect for a little shelf area. These books were a bit of a splurge, but I will say I just loved them. They were beautiful. They have gold on the spine. These are from the 1800s. I believe this set of books was around $90. Again, I think they were like 20% off. So they were around 70, 10 books. So they're $7 a book, but with a coordinated set like this, I thought these would look so nice in a bookshelf. I loved the green and I just couldn't pass them up when I saw them. I, I really liked them. The last item I'm going to get up and show you. Look how cute this little nightstand is that I found. How charming is she? I love how small it is. I just love the little just slight detail at the bottom here. Something about this was just screaming my name and there's only one of them so I can't really use it as a pair in a bedroom. So maybe like as a plant stand or on the side of a sofa or chair. But that's everything that I got. Wow. 
just like random lines. That is so pretty. I love, yeah, I love it. All right, guys, I'm inquiring on the price of this rug. It's so, so pretty. The texture's great, too. It's good, I think. I could definitely walk on this. I think the yellow is already full. It's so pretty, I love here. it. It's similar to the one on the back. <laughs> All right, first stop, Big Daddy's Antiques. Ooh, and a little antique frame edition. Here it is. Let's see how it is. Are you kidding me right now? This is so beautiful. I am, this is unreal. You guys, this is an antique store. This looks like, I don't, this looks like a curated home. It's beautiful. It's a cool mix because not all of it is like, most, a lot of it is antiques, but like some of this is like- Oh, some, 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 oh yeah. If you guys remember, I got these fabrics at the flea market a while back. Why am I gravitated towards so much sharp and like gothic right now? It's just everything I've been gravitating towards. This circle table is so, so cool. I love it. This is off of the main area. Look how far back this place goes. Oh my god. All right, they have an outside area as well. I can live here. Like, I will be hiding in this pot. Before they close, they're never gonna find me. It's, it's unreal, like, unreal. Pricing wise, it's not cheap. I will say that. It is not a cheap antique store. It's good for inspiration though, for sure. And also, I mean, if you wanna buy a one-off piece, I definitely would suggest it. They have really cool items. Look at this rusted chair. I would get tetanus for this chair for sure. It's so good. So comfortable, actually. I got the chair. I honestly thought it was gonna be kind of expensive, but it was $200, which I feel like for a rusty chair is not that bad. <laughs> it's really pretty though. I don't know if it's gonna be an outdoor or an indoor accent, so we will find out. Next thrift store. This one is called, can you please pronounce Justin? Bait Teshuva. Bait Teshuva. All proceeds support addiction treatment. This is not. 350 for the set. Not bad. 350 for the set? Yeah. Oh, wow. And you got the table too. <laughs> Look at this. We're not even inside yet. 450. Oh, I mean, that's not, that's not the worst. 50% <gasps> off. Uh, furniture. Take me to. Brass lamp is so pretty. I love the little deboss on it. This is like a curated thrift store. However, the prices are very not thrift. Um, they're a little bit more expensive. Like this is $350 for the set of two chairs, but I wouldn't say, you know, $350 for two accent chairs is insane. This leather sofa is really beautiful. These actually look exactly like P2 that I found at the flea market, but like a taller version. It looks like they maybe were like a gas lamp or something. So that's interesting. So this thrift store, guys, is honestly not not my favorite. I will not be coming back. Just because their items are very inconsistently priced. Like a candle holder that you can find literally at Target that has a Target price tag. Look at that mantle. That has a Target price tag still on it. It's more expensive than at Target. So everything's just very randomly priced. Um, 
But they do have some items that are nice. Like, I mean, this entire dining set that I shared with you guys in the beginning is $3.50 for the set. And it's half off, so it'd be like $1.75. We are going to another antique shop this morning. I hope that you are prepared for another one because I just didn't get the fix I needed yesterday. Like the Long Beach Flea Market and those thrift slash antique shops I went to yesterday, I just didn't find a lot. There was a bunch, but it just like, it wasn't, you know, nothing was resonating with me. And actually while I'm in downtown right now for a meeting, I am going to stop by a antique shop that's called Old Good Things. I mean, like we all love old good things, right? So I mean, the name is promising. Just stopped at a red light, but I remember when I moved to Los Angeles in 2013, I actually moved right next to this antique shop, but at the time I just wasn't, I didn't, I couldn't afford antiques. I don't even think I knew what an antique was, to be honest with you guys. Approximately 10 years later, we are going to go check it out, and I believe there's also another antique store right next door to it. I'm on the hunt right now for a bed frame for my bed, because currently my bed is a mashup of two thrifted bed frames. The headboard broke off of one, so I'm currently using the frame of one, and then I literally screwed the headboard of another one to that and they just don't blend they don't mix very well something that I realize is that queen and king size bed frames are hard to come by when you're looking for antiques and vintage pieces because a lot of beds back then were full-sized or double-sized so it's not common to come across like a really unique antique queen bed unless it was like a custom bed that happens to fit a queen mattress so maybe we can get some inspo uh, they also have a bunch of architectural salvage I believe so we can check that out light fixtures all that fun stuff but let's head on in I'm like two minutes away and I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Just got here. This is the uh, antique store that's next door to the old good things, but they have some cute stuff out here. Like I love these heart wired chairs. These chairs are also really pretty with the, the leaves on them. This pink marble mantle. Look how cool that is. Look at this copper sink. So pretty. Little scallopy edges on it. Oh, copper lampshades. Pretty unique. How beautiful the stained glass we window have is. Smaller pieces like this. Yeah. That one over there. That one over there. Oh my gosh, so outside they only had two. Yeah, all four. They only had two of the little like wire garden chairs outside, but I just found two more inside, like under this pile of chairs, which is great because I have never been able to find four of these. I can only ever find two. Very surprised, was not expecting that. We're on phone camera because my camera died. I actually spent too much time in that other little thrift store and I found some really cute things. I'm in that good old things antique shop and guys, there's a lot in here. I have to show you this light that's in the entry. Look how big this light is. <laughs> that is humongous. <gasps> so cute. Look how delicate that is. How cool is this chain coffee table? I've never seen reclaimed chained coffee table. That is so cool. Do I need this bathtub? <laughs> Just replace the plastic one that's currently in my bathroom. Oh, that mirror is so cool, this Art Deco one. Bathtub is crazy though, I think it's copper. Oh, it is copper. Wow. Just heading out of old good things. There was a lot of old and very good things, but this wasn't anything that I was looking for. Just got back in the car. I want to do a little car haul for you guys. Now, something I will say is the guy was making up prices as he was going, but that's fine because they really weren't like awful. I got this, which I think is like a literally a leg to 
a piece of furniture, but I want to use it as a tall, skinny vase. Um, I loved the brass finish on this. It was 15 bucks, and it's, like, very heavy as well. This one was 20 but I loved the three little taper holders and just how it's on this curved shape here. I thought this was such a unique, like, you know, shelf piece or something to put on a coffee table. It's kind of statement-y, but it's not over the top. When I saw this, I literally was looking at something like this on Etsy the other day, and I love this. It's like a taper holder, but it's just rounded. It almost looks like a bowl in a sense, all made of brass, and this was $20, which, you know, isn't awful. Like, I feel like this is such a cool piece. I got this piece of art here, and I loved this because it was dried flowers. They're actually real dried flowers in there, and then it has a little um, signature down here, Sierra Flowers from Mount Banner, which is so cute. I love how those are like taken from a mountain and just added. I don't know, I just thought this was so charming and I could put it somewhere in the house. I got this patinaed vessel. I just loved the blue color on there and then just like the little bit of brown on the side. And then I picked these up. I actually got these for next Christmas, but when I saw them, I'm gonna use them this Christmas because it's currently only the 19th, so I can definitely put them out. But look how cute little brass deers are. I thought they were just like so Christmassy and like vintage and just, you know, small. It was $25 for the set, which I thought wasn't too bad. They're quite heavy as well. And the last little decor bit I got was just this little bowl here. I loved the top shape. It looks like a flower. It's very heavy. It made of solid brass as well. I have to show you guys a little set of chairs I got for the courtyard because I want to do a little round table over here um, because it's under this awning, which I think would be so freaking cute. Currently, the chair that I got yesterday is just right over here. This is probably going to be an outside chair, I'm thinking, either in the backyard or it might be like a plant stand kind of a chair to put plants on. I'm not sure yet. But for these chairs, I'm kind of picturing them just being in a little kind of formation around a little table. It really is a perfect size for a little circle table over here. And I love these chairs. They are so cute. I love the loop leg so much. The little twist right here could strip them back fully to the iron look, which also could look incredible or just refinish them in general. But you know, for 130 bucks for the set of four, I was like, that's pretty good deal. I feel like I would like to give a big thank you to you guys for watching today's video. I hope that you loved this one. I love, love, love making these antique and thrifting videos. It's my favorite thing, but some Sometimes when you don't find things, I feel like, should I even share the content? Like, am I even supposed to put the thrift store I went into if I didn't find anything? But I just like sharing it because, you know, maybe you see something that you want and you can go ahead over and grab it. So I will catch you guys in my next video. The tile is on its way for the kitchen. So excited about that. And do not forget to also take advantage of Casetify's 15% off of your phone case using the link at the top of the description box below or going to casetify.com slash lonefox. And I will catch you guys all in my next one. Goodbye.